down this quiet street in the town of Cripple Creek, it's hard to believe that more than 50,000 people once called this home. The beginning of the 20th century was a pivotal time in Cripple Creek's history. More than $18 million worth of gold was mined in the area hills in just the year 1900 alone. And then the bust hit in 1918. Around 1916, 17, 18, the price of gold really started to drop. And at that point, it didn't become profitable to mine the gold because this is hard rock mining. You got to go deep underground, and there's a bit of a process to extract it out of the rock. It, you're not finding those big nuggets. And so a lot of the mines started closing, and people started leaving town. But it did, as time went on, the mines consolidated. So the larger mine operators would buy up the smaller mine operators. And gold still continued to be mined, but at a much smaller scale. And the gold never really has stopped being mined. While it's been a while since Cripple Creek's heyday, it's important to note that bringing the past into the present really is the future for visitors and residents alike. We're really known for our events. Some of them are crazy, some of them are more traditional. Our Cripple Creek Ice Festival every year in February, it drew 72,000 people last year. We have uh, incredible world-class ice sculptors that come in for that. This year we had our 85th annual Donkey Derby Days which uh, is a, a throwback to when uh, the miners would unofficially race donkeys uh, from Victor to Cripple Creek, and it kind of morphed over the years into the race we have today. We've got a great new event coming this fall called the Big Aspen Happening. Cripple Creek is probably the best place to come for watching the Aspen leaves change, and we're in the top five Aspen drives in the world. So we're gonna celebrate that as you come up and look at the Aspens. We're gonna have a street festival on Bennett, Lots of inflatables, street and food vendors, beer tents, live bands, uh, lots of entertainment. It'll be a good time. It's hard not to imagine the trains coming to and from town in the late 1800s or early 1900s. The streets flooded with thousands of people who came for the dream of instant wealth. The world was in a worldwide depression in the 1890s and the wealth being generated out of Cripple Creek was instrumental in helping the United States be one of the full first countries to come out of that depression. Um, I believe there were 18 millionaires uh, that were created during the 1890s. To this day, gold still is mined and more gold has been taken from Cripple Creek than the rest of North America combined and that includes Alaska and California. And yes, where some tested the laws of the Wild West. Cripple Creek was really a true Wild West town, really emphasis on the wild part, because you did have so many people in such a small place, money's flying out of the mine. Um, so you do get the support industries, you get the gambling, you get the prostitution, um, you get the alcohol <laughs> abuse, and Myers Avenue uh, was really world famous as maybe one of the top red light districts in the world. The town is very proud of its heritage and embraces its legacy of mining and gambling, a big staple in this small community. The people who've always lived here have, have recognized the importance and have always promoted the town, uh, saying, you know, come see, see this piece of history. And so they took care in their buildings. And in 1991, when the buildings were really starting to fall in disrepair, Cripple Creek was one of the three Colorado cities that voted in casino gaming and the money generated by the casinos coming in really did save the historical facades of Bennett. And we just have a large, significant portion of our town that is as it was. The casinos, we have nine of them. There's high stakes gambling, we have table games, we have slots and everything you would expect at a large casino. Uh, but it just kind of has that nod to the past. In the 1890s, we had 21 casinos. Today we have nine. So there's always been casino gaming. It's always been a part of what was here. And uh, I think we do maybe the best job of bringing that historical casino experience, bringing that forward into a modern casino experience, but with an eye towards our history and the setting like this, you just can't match it anywhere. So if you'd like to enjoy the gaming of 2016 while reliving a bit of the old west of the late 1800s, Cripple Creek is the place for you.